MRSA is a strain of the Staphylococcus aureus bacterium that's resistant to methicillin, which belongs to the beta-lactams class of antibiotics. And it's often found on the skin or in the nose of healthy people. MRSA can cause infections ranging from mild to severe and can occur in both hospital and community settings. Community-associated MRSA infections can occur in healthy individuals who have not been hospitalized or had a medical procedure done within the past year. Those at higher risk include athletes, prisoners, military recruits, and persons with poor hygiene practices, or a compromised immune system. MRSA infections are spread through person-to-person -person contact or through contact with contaminated items, and can enter the bloodstream through a pre-existing cut or wound, potentially causing serious complications such as cellulitis, sepsis, and even death. Hospital-associated MRSA skin infection is typically more concerning than community-acquired MRSA because the bacteria are often more resistant to multiple antibiotics due to their exposure to these medications in a hospital setting. Patients who are at higher risk for hospital-acquired MRSA include those with weakened immune systems, those who have been hospitalized for a long time, and those who have undergone invasive medical procedures such as surgery or the placement of a medical device like a catheter or ventilator. Hospital staff can also spread MRSA from patient to patient through contact with contaminated objects or services. Community-associated MRSA can be prevented by maintaining good personal hygiene, abstaining from sharing personal belongings, cleaning shared equipment often, and properly tending to cuts and wounds. Preventing hospital-acquired MRSA involves following strict infection control protocols, including proper hand hygiene, use of personal protective equipment, and proper cleaning and disinfection of equipment and services. Patients who are identified as having MRSA may be placed in isolation precautions to prevent the spread of infection. If you're finding value in this video, then please hit the thumbs up and subscribe, and check out the link in the description to purchase an instant digital download of the Integumentary System and Disorders Nursing School Notes, which includes the MRSA skin infection concepts reviewed in this video. Symptoms of MRSA skin infection include a red, swollen region, warmth and tenderness in the affected area, pus drainage, and fever. Treatment goals for MRSA skin infections, whether hospital or community associated, often includes a combination of measures to control and resolve the infection and to relieve symptoms. Treatment for minor MRSA skin infections may include draining the abscess or wound, thorough cleaning, and application of a topical antibiotic. Antibiotics used orally or intravenously may be required for cases that are more severe. The type and length of antibiotic therapy will depend on the infection's severity, infection site, and how susceptible the bacteria are to various antibiotics. Assessing skin lesions, culturing wounds and wound drainage, and obtaining blood, sputum, and urine cultures are all part of the nursing management of MRSA skin infection. You should also provide patients and caregivers with information regarding transmission methods, symptoms, and the importance of taking antibiotics as prescribed. In order to stop the infection from spreading to others, standard and contact precautions must also be followed, and patients must be continually watched for any signs of further infections that can cause systemic disease or organ damage. Thank you for watching and let me know in the comments if you have any questions.